TimberTech and Azex Low Maintenance Lighting Offering provides an energy-efficient way to illuminate outdoor living spaces, extending the amount of time to enjoy your TimberTech or Azex tech. TimberTech and Azex Lighting is specifically designed to work with TimberTech and Azex decking and railing products. TimberTech and Azex Lighting line includes post cap lights, accent lights, riser lights, under rail lights, and in deck lights. TimberTech and Azex Lighting is covered by a five year limited warranty. Here's how the lights are installed. Before you begin, consult your building codes, read all instructions, and make sure that you have all the tools and the components needed. Some accommodations need to be made while installing the railing systems for the wiring and the fixtures. In addition to a basic tool set, you will need the following. A voltmeter, 3 8 inch, 7 64 inch, 1 quarter inch, 3 16 inch drill bits, 5 8 inch, 3 quarter inch, 1 inch, and 1 and 1 half inch spade bits. TimberTech and Azek also offers a 100 watt transformer, a dimmer with a remote, a 100 foot box of 16 by 2 wire, and wire guides. The LEDs are built into the lighting fixtures and do not need to be purchased separately. When planning the layout of your TimberTech and Azex lighting, refer to the installation guide to ensure that no more than 40 watts is applied to a single circuit and 90 watts is applied to a transformer. Now we're ready to install each TimberTech and Azex lighting fixture. First, let's prepare the railing and wiring. If installing post caps on a 4x4, 5x5, or 4.5x5.5 post sleeve, ensure that your 4x4 is trimmed 1.5 inches shorter than your post sleeve to allow room for the post cap light. For unlit posts, be sure to cut the post sleeves to the correct height to ensure all posts are the same height. The cut height will be dependent to the type of infill that is being utilized. Please refer to the install guide for specifics. Slide the post sleeve and post skirt down to the deck surface. When installing lighting with a 5x5 or 5.5x5.5 post sleeve, you can feed the 16x2 wire between the post and post sleeve. For a 4x4 post sleeve, you may need to route a notch or cut a chamfer in the corner of your 4x4 to feed the 16x2 wire. For TimberTech's Radiance Rail, an Azex Premier, Reserve, and Trademark railing, wire can be routed underneath the top rail to connect posts. To do this, first drill a 5 8 inch hole through the post sleeve on the center line. Run the wire through the post sleeve holes and along the railing to the next post. To keep the wire in place, Secure four wire guides to the support rail using 3 quarter inch screws. With a 3 16 inch drill bit, pre-drill holes through the support rail. Next, you will need to make a notch on the center line of the top rail by boring a 3 quarter inch hole close to the end of the rail and cut to form an open slot. Now you are ready to install lights. Let's start with the accent light, which is offered in architectural bronze and white. If using a post skirt, install this over the 4x4 post before installing the post sleeve. Remove the accent light cover from the accent light backplate by loosening the set screw located at the bottom of the accent light cover. After determining the desired location for your accent light, use the backplate as a template to drill a 3 8 inch hole for the wire and two 7 64 inch holes for the mounting screws through your post sleeve. Route the accent light wire through the wire hole in the post sleeve and slide the post sleeve over the wood post and into the post skirt. Attach the accent light backplate to the post sleeve using two 3 quarter inch screws. Reinstall the accent light cover and secure set screw with the Allen wrench. Trim excess wire and make wiring connections. Now let's install post cap lights. TimberTech offers two post cap lights, a 4x4 post cap light and a 5x5 post cap light. Azek offers two different post cap lights, a 5.5x5.5 post cap light and a 5.5x5.5 lighted island cap that can both be used with Azek's 5.5x5.5 post sleeve. Post caps must be installed after the rail assembly has been completed. Install the lens onto the post sleeve. 
make sure it is not installed upside down. Trim excess wire and make wiring connections. Unscrew the post cap light cover from the clear bottom housing. Install the clear bottom housing by securing the mounting screws and washers, being sure not to pierce wiring with screws. Install the cover. If installing a 5x5 or 5.5x5.5 post cap light, install the cap by compressing the post cap over the gasket on the post cap light until the post cap rests on the lens. If installing a 4x4 post cap light, place the gasket onto the post cap light and place the post cap on top and apply pressure evenly until the post cap rests on the lens. Next, let's install a riser light. Locate and mark vertical and horizontal center lines for the riser light location. Level the backplate and secure using the 1 inch screws. Using the backplate and the provided template, locate the center of the 1 and 1 half inch hole and drill using a spade bit. Trim excess wire and make wiring connections. Secure the housing of the light to the backplate using the set screw and the Allen wrench. Now let's install an under rail light. This light was designed to fit in between two balusters in a section of TimberTex Radiance Rail or Azex Premier and Trademark railing, but can also be installed in a number of other locations. Install the under rail lights before the top rail is installed. First, determine the location of the under rail light. The under rail light is canted at a 15 degree angle so it can be tilted inwards towards the deck or outward and away from the deck. Drill a 3 8 inch hole and feed the wire through this hole. Secure the light using two 3 quarter inch screws. Trim excess wire, make wiring connections and install the top rail. Finally, let's install an in-deck light. This light is designed to accent the deck and should be placed in a low foot traffic area. First, locate and mark the center line of the deck plank where the in-deck light will be installed. Use a 1 inch spade bit to drill a hole through the deck board. Insert the light into this 1 inch hole and make your wiring connections underneath the deck. A 100 watt transformer and an optional dimmer are available for TimberTech and AZEC lighting. The dimmer includes a remote that allows the homeowner to reduce the output of the lights to the desired level. The transformer and the optional dimmer should be installed in close proximity to each other. If the dimmer is used, the provided watertight connectors should be used to connect the dimmer to the transformer and the dimmer to the main run of wiring. If the dimmer is not used, connect the main run of wiring directly to the transformer. Now, you're ready to spend more time on your beautiful TimberTech or AZEC deck, day or night.